I heard you were looking for me. You heard the alarm, right? That means someone's in the gauntlet. Looks like a real tough one, too. What happens next is up to you. You can take him on yourself in the arena, or I can make sure our little rat never gets out of the maze. There's not gonna be a fight. Set them free. Damn, really? Well, you're the boss. Won't pretend I'm not disappointed, though. Some kind of problem, Gage? No, boss. Not at all. I, uh, I just wanted to say that this, you know, the two of us working together like this, well, it's been a damn good time. I left Nuka World with you, hoping you'd be the overboss the gangs needed. Seems like I didn't need to worry in the least. No question you know how to take care of yourself, which is more than I can say for most. But damn, if you don't have fun doing it, and more than that, I know you got my back. I can trust you. I can't say that about anybody else. You're damn right. I've got your back. I know you do, boss. And that means something coming from you. It really does. You know, I made some bad calls when I was younger. I ain't saying I regret the choices I made, just that early on, I was a little starry-eyed. First gang took me in when I was 16. Decent-sized group, fair amount of muscle, only they weren't using it as best they could. Me being new and young, I didn't know enough to keep my mouth shut. Started making suggestions about how to improve things. <laughs> Sounds like you were a real team player. Yeah, that was the general idea. Eventually, the boss approaches me. Connor, his name was. I don't remember what stupid-ass name he used back then. The Harvester or something. It was never as intimidating as he thought it was. <laughs> Laughable, almost. Anyway, at first I think he's pissed like I'm undermining his authority. But he actually listens to me. He takes my advice. And where is this guy now? Now hang on. Don't get ahead of me. So here I am. This teenage punk who's got the ear of what seems like the most powerful guy around. I'm on top of the damn world. 
Connor's always coming to me, asking what I think of his plans, telling me how much he trusts me. Can't lie, it all went to my head. After something like a year of working closely together goes by, we come up with this plan to make peace with a rival gang. We work the whole thing out in secret, where we meet on neutral ground, who does the negotiating, and what happens if shit goes south. I was more than happy to take point on negotiating with three of our biggest guys to back me up in case no one took me seriously. Did it work? Did they listen to you? Not at first, but they came around. About an hour in, they're just starting to come around and realize the deal is in their best interest. And then, I hear it. Gunfire and explosions. Lots of both. At first I'm thinking, oh shit, something went wrong. Connor's gonna have to bail us out. But the more time that goes by, the more I start to realize what's happening. The fucker set me up, and I fell for it. See, he figured he's pumped me for all the information I was good for. Have me around for much longer, I'd be a threat to his position. So he used us as a diversion, something to keep the other gang's attention while he and his men ambushed them. He gets their stuff, and I just happen to die in the crossfire. Perfect day for him. How'd you make it out of that alive? I'll be honest, I couldn't tell you. You know how folks say it was all a blur? Well, it really was. I find myself on the other side of this whole thing. Messed up, but alive. I can't go back. The one guy I thought I could trust tried to get me killed. Thought about going in shooting, but that was just anger, revenge talking. And I knew where that would end up. So I moved on. Promised myself I was never gonna be that stupid again. Was never gonna trust anyone to do anything but look out for themselves. Hey, you did what you had to do. No one can blame you for that. Like I said, boss, I don't regret the choices I made. Ever since that day, I ain't trusted nobody. At least not beyond how useful they can be to me. You, though. You're the real deal. I finally found somebody worth fighting with. Something worth fighting for. I don't mean to make it weird or nothing. I'm just saying, this is a real good thing we've got going here. Thanks, Gage. Means a lot to me. You are the overboss, after all. Well, I figure this is enough sharing or whatever, yeah? We probably ought to get back to it. But really, thanks. I mean it.
Stick to the roads, and you got a better chance of surviving. 